Good day ladies and gentlemen, today's video is very important as regard to gold and silver. So it's uh, going to be uh, just for gold and silver, alright? First of all, I, as you guys are aware of it, that I have been bearish on gold and silver and I'm still bearish on silver and gold. But on a smaller time frame, on a daily time frame, it looks like things are not really going good. You know, for example, look at this price action. Although we have seen quite a, you know, prices reflecting off that support area, but I have uh, some suspicions and I did some uh, more studies, and that is actually indicating that although the larger time frame analysis, that means the weekly time frame analysis or the monthly time frame analysis, is still bearish. Let's go uh, uh, and have a look on a weekly time frame. So this is the weekly time frame analysis. Uh, let me actually so although we are looking still for an A, a B and a C structure right over here we're expecting for the price to drop down over here but on a smaller time frame things are not really looking that good so in today's video just we exactly are looking at a smaller time frame we can actually go for a four hourly time frame so once we look at the price structure right over here in front of us what other possibility or what other alternating count is possible and one comes to very clear to mind that instead of actually going right from over here we can we were early considering that this is probably a one and two and three and four and we are going further down we can make another assumption and that's we can clearly count five wave structure from the top which is wave one and two and three and four right over here and five structure so Wave 3 seems larger as compared to wave 1 and it looks like that wave 5 and wave uh, 3 probably are approximately equal to. In that regard, we can say that our wave 1 ended over here. Instead of we are saying that okay, probably this is wave 3 going on uh, or some other thing. So the reason is because the price action is not actually behaving the way it is supposed to. And that's what uh, made me recall uh, the, uh, the labeling. So we can do a quick labeling of the smaller time frame. We can call it at uh, the start of the price action right over here. A smaller wave 1 and a smaller wave 2 and smaller wave 3 and 4 right over here. We can see that wave 4 is not entering into the territory of wave, uh, wave 1 and this is wave 5 right over here. And let me go ahead and actually change the... Yeah, minor seems for now. Yeah, minor seems good for now. Okay. And that would be actually completing wave 1 uh, of a primary degree. In that case, we can simply call it that this is probably wave 1 right over here. Uh, the start of the structure once again, this is uh, wave 1 right over here, and we're expecting wave 2 to be rather either over here or over here, okay? So I'm right now putting wave 2 to be somewhere in the middle. And then we can say that 3, 4, and 5 would work out later. We need to go ahead and change the uh, degree of wave from minor to intermediate and hopefully this will make sense. Within uh, right now we have completed the 5 wave structure so there is a possibility that we are right now going from wave A and wave B is complete and right now we are actually into the wave C. Uh, I will come to the dates as well okay just give me a moment. So a couple of targets uh, come for the bullish uh, setup and first the immediate target that we have is right over here okay in that regard we can consider it as wave A and wave B and wave C right over here but imagine uh, give me a moment what is note on doing but wave C does not have to stop over there right over here it can actually push forward to the end of wave 4 right over here so we can see wave C even more stronger uh, than actually instead of hitting it can actually stay in this regard area as well 1870 so as you guys can see from the price action right over here, the initial price action over here, this price can actually be a quick move right over here. The low, uh, so this is what I'm expecting in regard to uh, the next major swing. In As per my analysis, I'm expecting next major swing to be bullish, continue the bullish behavior, and uh, we are going to take the three days price movement just as a correction. Either it will end over here, or we have second possibility that is going to uh, end over uh, right over in the earlier area right over here even farther right in this area so when I did the time studies and I spent uh, I told you guys I spent quite a bit of time I'm still working hard to uh, combine time and price together uh, these are only time studies that you guys 
all I got is that on 17th of October we are expected to see a low and that's what this comes from this low is still happened does that mean that low is going to come in a in a bullish move for example this one came in uh, on 7th of October so this a low is expected on 17th of October whether that could be a pullback and when we have one more price up movement uh, left on the upside but all I said uh, got is that a low is expected to be on 17th of October and the rest of what uh, the analysis was done by Elliott wave analysis uh, so WD GAN analysis is still valid we are expected to see a low uh, whether there will be a low or um, of an even smaller degree or how large that would be uh, it's still uh, remaining to see as far as price movement is still is concerned I'm mean, expecting that now the pullback down over here shall be considered as a correction so we can see that this pullback is right over here and the price found resistance and it's finding support in this structure right over here right over here and I'm expecting that the next important move would be still up we are expecting either a price resistance in this region right over here or more importantly we can possibly see prices resistance going all the way right over here important point is here as soon as we see uh, some kind of resistance coming in we are looking for more bearish price action so the important point is when prices go up right over here do understand that actually prices are not crossing this region if prices can actually cross right this region easily and go into that territory we'll have to look at the the labeling right over here that will be too far stretched for a correction to go into that territory so this is very important a lot of people are probably going to buy gold right at the top and silver as well so I just wanted to bring in attention today's the analysis is not only bringing us a trading setup it's also alerting us there is a possibility of a bear a bull trap as well a lot of bulls are probably going to get trapped right over here um, you might be uh, thinking that uh, are, are we expecting to see such strong move in stock market as well I'm not expecting such strong movement in uh, US stock market or in nifty or in uh, uh, um, in FTSE uh, and DAX as well so I'm not expecting such strong movement I think this is indicating simply that we are in a longer bearish move so this correction happens and then prices turns down that will actually confirm that we are to stay in a, a good a bearish move in gold and silver for a good while uh, and I wanted to present it to you guys I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are gonna say I definitely missed the rebound right over here but once the way prices are acting is not in indicating an immediate drop alright so I wanted to uh, bring it to your attention let's have a look at silver and see what silver is doing and then we'll uh, see what else we can quickly do uh, so silver seems um, let me correct that all right over here let me go to weekly time frame and I'm looking for some data to work out okay So as I said, on a larger level, we are still bearish on silver. We are expecting for bear for bearish trend that actually started from over here to end right over here. So however, you guys can see that silver is more closer to the bottom. It means that there is even more bullish price action expected in in silver. So I'm ex still expecting we have couple of uh, resistance points right over here. I think this 22.55 is quite a valid resistance point right over here. So we need to understand 2255 is valid resistance point for the prices to go upward. So I'm still remain bullish on gold and silver. I mean, for, as from today, I want to say remain uh, because I was immediately looking for uh, a drop in gold and silver, but things are looking different. We are going to see a bearish price movement, but they are going to be more sustained. And we will see dramatic price action that should actually follow in the later part of wave 3 or somewhere in the earlier in the, in the middle part of wave 3 but right now I think for as far as the price target in silver is concerned I'm expecting silver to hit in this area as well let's have a quick look at platinum as well and with platinum we can definitely look for our resistance point to be right over here which is 1025 and uh, this is a major resistance point for uh, for platinum okay when I'm expecting platinum to go up right over here too 
Let's have a look at GDX quickly if you can actually find some trading setups for GDX as well. Uh, so for GDX we can see that there is a huge huge pullback and we can see that we are already trading in this range so we can see that prices are probably expected to round jump up to 35 probably there is a good possibility we will still remain in the bearish side of the price action uh, but I'm expecting that the price when gold goes up there is a possibility we might GDX might actually hit up to 35 do understand that we are in a bearish cycle as far as my research is indicating we are in the, in the bearish cycle and expecting the bearish to continue on holding on but this pullback shall be considered at a correction to join the major trend on the bearish side so you can look at the other uh, I'm pretty sure you guys can look at the, um, the, the other uh, pairs as well and say what you expect wish you good luck with your trading as I said that uh, uh, I'm not expecting a major move not only in the stock market but also the currencies against US as well. There probably would be some correction uh, but not as major move is expected. Uh, I believe that we are still continuing the bearish move in um, currencies against US dollar. That means the US dollar expected to continue as stronger behavior and uh, stock market is expected to uh, so bearish trend on a daily time frame or at least on the weekly time frame. But I'm not expecting such strength coming back in a short amount of period uh, for goals, uh, I mean for stock market and for forex pairs, major forex pairs against US dollar. And the only strength that I'm seeing is in precious metals, in gold and silver and platinum and the miners or the, min the miners for gold, silver and platinum. Wish you good luck with your trading. Have a good one and bye bye.